Now let me introduce how to simplify radicals. And let's start, say, with the square root of 28. Why can we simplify this? Well, we can simplify it and rewrite it in mixed radical form. And why is that? Because there's actually a perfect square that is a factor of 28. Let's split up 28 by means of a factor tree. I can divide 28 by 2. 28 divided by 2 is 14. 14 divided by 2 is 7. Okay, so now that we know that 28 is 2 times 2 times 7. And note that 2 times 2, every time we have a pair of numbers here, by multiplying them, we get a perfect square, which is 4. So the square root of 28 is equivalent to the square root of 4 times 7. And remember that if we're multiplying numbers within the square root, we can actually split up the square root, like this. So the square root of 4 times 7 is equal to the square root of 4 times the square root of 7. And remember, of course, that the square root of 4 is just 2. Of course, because 2 times 2 is 4. But we're still multiplying it by the square root of 7. So that's equal to 2 square root, or so, sorry, <laughs> 2 times the square root of 7, or just 2 root 7. So 2 root 7 is the mixed radical form of the square root of 28. So in other words, it's just it's just uh, the square root of 28 fully simplified. Let's do one more. And then you can scroll down, click on some questions, try them, and watch some more videos for practice. Now we have 45 and I will also make a factor tree for it. 45, I can divide it by 3. 3 is a, pri <coughs> a prime number. 45 divided by 3 is 15. I can also divide 15 by 3, and I get 5. So 45 is 3 times 3 times 5. And every time that we have a pair of numbers, we can make a perfect square with it. 3 times 3 is 9. So I can split this up into the square root of 9 times the square root of 5. And the square root of 9 is 3. And we're multiplying that by the square root of 5. So in mixed radical form, the square root of 45 is 3 root 5. That's it. So now I, I challenge you to scroll down, try some questions, click on them to watch the videos, and good luck.